Hello, hello. Hi, Glenda. Qué puntual, excellent. Now I have Hi. to test my... She was the first one. We been Glenda. <laughs> excellent. Okay, there they come. Now your classmates are coming. Good evening, ah. teacher. Oh, good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. Fine, excellent. And the rest of the class, how are you? ¿Cómo están los clases? Are you okay? Are you happy today? How do you feel today? ¿Cómo se I siente? am happy. I am happy. You're happy too. Great. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, I'm sorry. Tell me. Cesar, uh -huh. ¿qué me dijo Cesar? Emerson está enfermo. Really? What no happened to poder, Emerson? No se va a poder presentar ahora. ¿Lo escribió en el chat o les avisó a ustedes? No, nosotros nos avisó. Ah, bueno. Ah, ok. Gracias por avisar. <ríe> Saben, este, sí, mi teléfono es, lo estoy cargando, se me descargó totalmente, así que no he revisado WhatsApp todavía. So let me right. give you, let me give you class just an extra minute, un minuto extra para que sus compañeros vengan. Welcome everyone, it's really nice to see you, see you again, you know, time flies. El tiempo se va volando, si es que Siento que hace dos horas estuvimos en la clase anterior. You know, y aquí estamos sí, otra vez. Right? Hace poquito. Se va hablando el tiempo, teacher. Exactly, right. I don't know if it's me, but I feel the same. Yo siento que vamos exageradamente rápido con los meses. O soy yo, mi percepción es que... Siento que acabamos de comenzar el módulo y ya nos están mandando para que mandemos la ficha. Exactly, <laughs> para el siguiente yes. Exactly, they are... Giving Gracias you an invitation. No, no se te escucha yeah. nada, Leli. Tienes problemas en el audio. A Leli, ¿qué pasó? What happened to Aquí your microphone? Está, está, está hablando y no se le escucha nada. Ah, okay. So, yes, now we have 13 students. Ya van 13, muy bien. I need to have. Ahora? Now we can. Ahora sí, ahora sí. Okay. Okay. Quedó debiendo 10 gallinas, dice Elvis. <ríe> gallinas, pero qué. Bueno, que nos den una para hacer sopón. No Con es, este que, clima no cae es, rica. No sé, no stop, sé quién, stop no the sé chicken. Quién, no sé quién falleció. Ahí mandó un mensaje, Elvis. No he visto el, el chat. <ríe> I haven't es que, the chat no. Espérame, quiero no. ver. Son no bromas, chat, vos. Yeah. Diagnóstico, por favor. <ríe> Dolor de no. cuerpo. Ah, Ese es Emerson. Fregando, es Emerson. Fregando, no. Emerson está. No, es que dice que Emerson. No. Se ve, no. teacher, que hay casos otra vez de, de COVID de nuevo. Sí. Really? Es que el COVID no se ha ido. Es que, es que, que no se ha ido y lo que pasa es que la gente está muy confiada. Que, ¿Quién les ha dicho que el COVID se ha ido? Sí, el COVID ahí está. Ok, but try to give me those comments in English. What is your opinion about COVID? What do you think about COVID? Spanish. Oh, come on. This is English. Sorry. Right. right. The COVID no return. COVID, COVID is return. Still, return. This is a, is Salvador. still around. Podemos decir eso. Todavía sigue alrededor. Is yes. Is still around. That's what And we sorry can for the Salvadorans. Salvador, to live. To live is be here. Yes. Oh. We need, yes. 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 We need to get used to COVID. We need to get used to. Necesitamos acostumbrarnos. Yeah, this is something mm -hmm. that is going to stay, you know, for a long yeah. period of time, you know? The same, yeah. wearing a mask. I don't know why people is not wearing a mask anymore. Remember, we need to. Remember uh, influenza? Uh, yeah, right? At the time. Uh -huh. The influences. Yes, right now. But I don't know. So let's go to section number three. Today for we're going for to have the last for one. <laughs> for yes, probably, right? We don't know. We do not know. Section number three. What is the last topic for section number three? Remember, 
that you have. The middle, middle. You have the exercises from section number three, and you also have the midterm exam. Two activities to be considered in this section. Veamos de qué se trata la section three, the last topic for today. What were we talking about yesterday? De qué estábamos hablando ayer. Primero vamos a repaso. Um, estamos hablando de preferences, preferences, the materials, materials, the clothes. Can you mention the six different types of materials that we were practicing yesterday? What were okay. the materials? Um, leather, cotton, silk, gold, plastic, rubbers. I good memories, teacher. Yes, of course, you're still. Todavía se acuerda, that's great, you know. ¿Qué otro material tiene? Todos. Gold, silver. Di uno. Sí. Uno. One. Come on. So, six different types of materials, <laughs> and you were giving me many examples me. of each material. I'm sorry, you know? <laughs> Come on, Seth. You know, Cesar is very hyperactive today. Lo voy a hacer participar. Vamos a aprovechar eso, okay? Cesar, I drink Coca Cola. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yo no tomo Coca Cola. Ah, sí. <laughs> I guess you drink a lot of Coca Cola, you know? If you see, let's continue with the same topic, expressing preferences. But in this class, we are going to learn or we will practice on how to make comparisons. Vamos a comparar, make comparison with adjectives. This can be a very tricky, tricky topic, you know? Puede ser un poquito difícil. O retador. Vamos a ver qué es el ejemplo que tenemos. Here we go. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Hi everyone. As I told you last class, we will talk about how to express preferences in English as well as to compare. Let's see. Preferences. Comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer, pretty, prettier, big, bigger. To express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer, I like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er okay. plus than. Small, smaller than. This dress is smaller than the other one. I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form, so you're able to compare anything you want. Okay. If you see, we have like the rule or the formula. Muchas veces le llamamos la formula o regla that we need to follow in order to make sentences, comparative sentences in this case. We have the adjective plus ER plus the expression than. Small, smaller, smaller than. This dress is smaller than the other one. Si se fijan, Estas son simple present statements, afirmaciones con el presente simple. That's why 
we are using the verb to be as well. Estamos utilizando el verbo to be. Yes, tell me, what is your question? Uh, we will use uh, only time. Yes, to compare, we are just going to use then. Compare. Okay. Then. In Spanish, this will be similar uh, to the expression que. Más pequeño que. Porque estamos comparando entre dos o más objetos. Small. Smaller than. So pay close attention. Do not forget that we are using the verb to be as well. Depende del sujeto, así es la conjugación del verb to be. Y luego solo agregamos adjetivo plus er plus the expression then. And in this video, it is a recommendation English for a comparative form. So you're able to compare anything you want. I also want you to work with this. For us to work with, the, with these three adjectives, cheap, old, and new. Cheap, old, and new. Why? Because we have been practicing on how to ask about prices. Okay? And if we ask for prices, most of the time are products that we get. Casi siempre cuando preguntamos por precios son productos los que obtenemos. Y para comprar, comparar precios, o en este caso materiales que vimos ayer, podemos usar los adjetivos cheap, old, and new. Cheap, old, and new. So let's go to practice. Vamos a ver de qué se trata los comparatives. Let me ask you. Para opinar or to give an opinion about an object, what do I need to use? Para dar mi opinión sobre un objeto que necesito usar. Oh, cheap, old, and new. ¿Y qué son esos? ¿Serán nombres? ¿Serán verbos? ¿O qué serán? Cheap, old, and new. Adjectives. ¿Son? Adjectives. adjectives. Muy bien. Son adjetivos adjectives. para comparar. If you want to make a comment about a place, about a person, or in this case about an object, what do you need to use? Adjective. Eso es lo primero que deben de recordar. Para dar mi opinión sobre algo, alguien o algún lugar, voy a utilizar adjetivos. Adjective. If I want to compare the same process, I am going to use adjectives and expression then. An adjective plus ER and expression then. Entonces les muestro la clase. Se va a tratar de comparative or making comparisons. Adjectives to make comparisons. ¿Qué clase vamos ya? Esta es la clase número. Eight. Eight. Muy bien. Les muestro ahorita el título. Siempre necesita quedar grabado. Aquí vamos. Class number eight. There we go. Ok. Class number eight. This is the end of section number three. Section number three, it's about asking for prices and giving prices. And the topic for today is comparative with adjectives. This is a pre-intermediate one course. And this is class number eight, week number two. And here you have the teacher's name in case that you don't remember the teacher's name, okay? So that's it. Muy bien, class, class number eight. Hay reglas, saben, there are some rules that we need to follow whenever we want to make comparisons, but I'm not going to stop and explain about rules. No me voy a detener a explicar reglas porque nos confundimos mucho más. Solo les doy un par de ejemplos. 
para que ustedes sepan cómo utilizarlos, ¿ok? Because we have so many rules about adjectives. Cómo los escribimos o cómo los deletreamos. But if you see, in the platform we had a recommendation. ¿Cuál es la recomendación en la plataforma? Utilizar cheap, old, and new. 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 Cheap, old, and new. Miren, cheap is the adjective. Y si lo convertimos en comparativo, nos quedaría cheap más que ER. ER. Y se nos convierte entonces en cheap cheaper. Per, cheaper. Than. Más barato que. Cheaper than. Let's make it close. No me gustó que quedó separado. Cheaper than. ¿Cuál es el otro adjetivo que nos estaba recomendando usar? New. 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 ¿Y cómo pasamos new o cómo lo convertimos en comparativo? New. New ER temp. Oh. New word, muy bien. New is the adjective. New word, then. And then if we want to make it comparative, we are going to write the same. New. And what do we need to add? New word. New word. Más new nuevo word. que. New word, then. I are. Y aquí lo tenemos ahora word, para then. usarlo como comparativo. New word, then. New and the last then. one. ¿Qué más teníamos? Old. 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 Un producto que es viejo. Old. old. And we are going down. to do the same. Old. Y le agregamos old. el que. Older. Older. Down. Older. Down. Older. Down. Then. Muy bien. Le voy a agregar uno más. Uno más. Para que le demuestre una regla que se ocupa con los adjetivos. Beautiful. Beautiful. ¿Cómo convertimos este adjetivo en comparativo? Beautiful. 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 Uh, no agregamos ear. ¿Qué piensan? Beautiful ear. Then, ¿será no, correcto? porque tiene porque tiene tres sílabas. Uh, Excelente, muy bien. Ya sabemos no, la regla. No, 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 Glendita, cosa seria. Ven, muy bien. Habló. Congratulations. Nunca vamos a decir beautiful ear. Porque hay una regla. There is a rule. Spelling rule, regla de deletreo de escritura. ¿Qué nos dice? That if the adjective is pronounced, no escrito, pronounced in more than three syllables, we are not going to add ER at the end. We need to add the expression more, more beautiful. Si tiene más de tres sílabas, no podemos decir beautiful, decimos more beautiful. ¿Cuántas sílabas lleva beautiful? How many? Beautiful. Two? Beautiful. No, three. Three, three, three. 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 Más bonito. Uh -huh, más bonito. Okay. Entonces, si queremos tomarlo así, la expresión ER se, traduce, se traduce como más, más barato, más, más barato. nuevo que. Más nuevo. Más, y más viejo. viejo que. Pero cuando mi adjetivo es largo, ahí se sí pongo la expresión more. More beautiful, más bonito que. que. es más bonito. Uh -huh. Y también ocupo la expresión then al final. Then. More beautiful than. More beautiful than. Mm. Ahí olvidé ponerlo, pero sí se escribe. Then. 
Okay, more beautiful than. Okay, cheap, right. cheaper, new, newer, old, older, beautiful, more beautiful than. And there are some exceptions. También hay excepciones de adjetivos que le llamamos irregular. Irregular adjectives or irregular comparative adjectives. For example. For example. Good. Nunca vayan a decir gooder, sino que la correcta es better. 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 Es irregular porque ni se parece a la escritura. Good, better. Bad, el comparativo es worse. Worse. Okay. Better than, worse than. Let me see. Quiero ver si recuerdo otro. Because I have the presentation. Tengo la presentación acá. Sí, pero no me quiero meter en detalles. Si no, ahí se nos va a ir toda la clase. Long, longer, happy, happier. Esto se los voy a pasar. Aquí están las últimas. Irregular adjectives. Good, better, bad, worse, far, farther, many, more, little, less. And far, further. Dos tipos de uso para far. Far and far. Son adjetivos diferentes, depende del contexto. Okay? So, vamos a la práctica. Here we go. Yes. Siu dice que está mala de la garganta. Dice. ¿Hm? Andrea ¿Qué? Siu. Really? Ahí mandó un mensaje que está bien mala, que solo va a estar por el chat, va a estar hablando. Ok, don't worry. Thank you so much for letting me know. Ok, let's go to the practice. Si se fijan, cuando hacemos el uso de comparative with adjectives, eh, in this case, we can have similar objects or more than one object that is similar. If you remember, we have been comparing, in this case, prices, material, or we are giving comments about uh, some objects. For example, here I have examples, five different pictures, the same object, and a different version of the same object. In number one, what do you see in number one? ¿Qué tenemos en la picture number one? Tenemos un gold ring. ¿Y qué más? Un ring. Ok, it's a ring. Sí, sí, un ring. Muy bien. Están a la par, miren. Mismo objeto, <coughs> diferente material. Gold ring. And silver, silver, silver ring. ring. Number two. Table. Table. Tablet. No, tablet. 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 Y laptop computer. These are technological <laughs> gadgets. Technological <laughs> gadgets. <laughs> we have a tablet and a <laughs> <the> laptop <laughs> computer. She was a mess of it. Yeah, this is not <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's do not confuse. <laughs> this is a tablet, okay? How about <laughs> number three? Effect of the lambre. Okay, shoes. <laughs> what type of shoes do we have here? Boots. Uh, hiking, hiking, hiking boots, boots and sneakers. 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 Okay, sneakers. shoes. In number four, different materials. What are the materials? Wool, clothes, leather gloves. I prefer leather gloves. Wow. Some beautiful leather gloves. And in number five, different color. Black, Black sunglasses and, and white sunglasses. sunglasses. Okay. In some examples, we have different color, different material, or different type. Tipo diferente. 
tablet, laptop, computer. Very good. Now, let's start by expressing preferences. Primero expresemos preferencia y luego comparemos. Which one do you like better? Usemos esa expresión. Which one do you like better? The gold the ring silver. or the silver ring? Which one do you like better? I prefer a silver ring. The gold ring? Which one do you... I prefer. One. Otra vez, lo dijo. Do you like better? Y vamos a utilizar las expresiones one and one. Depende si es plural o singular. Alguien dijo, I prefer. No, en este caso I sería, prefer. I like better. I prefer. I prefer. I like better. Porque le pregunto, I like I better. I like better. Silver ring. Wams. I like Wams. Silver ring. The silver one. one. Silver one. Silver one. Right. The silver one. El de plata. Ok, les pregunto, vámonos con el primer ejemplo. Everyone, les voy a preguntar a varios. Let me see. César, which one do you like better? The gold ring or the silver ring? I like better the, the gold ring. Or the, see, the gold one. The gold one, very good job. The gold one. Cristelia, which one do you prefer? Which I one prefer the right ring gold or utilicemos one or one or one como es el herber pues quiero que utilicemos one and ones por favor para sustituir en este caso el nombre. No utilicemos ring, sino que utilicemos one or ones. Yes. Muy bien. Daisy Magdalena, which one do you like better? I like it better. Silver one. Very good job. Very good job. Again, picture number one, Gladys. Which one do you like better? I like very, very. Is the silver one, one. The silver one. The silver ones. Yeah. Okay. Similar question. Which one do you prefer? Hoy les pregunto cuál prefieren. Which one do you prefer? And we are going to use Which? picture number two. Ocupemos la segunda imagen. Tablet, laptop, computer. Let me ask Ana Karina. Which one do you prefer? The tablet or the laptop computer? I prefer the tablet. Ok, de tal. Si se fijan acá, no podemos ser específicos como en el caso anterior, porque en sí es, no es como una categoría. Tablet es tablet, laptop es laptop, es como un producto diferente. Okay? Entonces solo decimos, I prefer the tablet. En el caso del anillo, sí, porque tengo varios tipos del mismo objeto. Ahí sí soy específica. I prefer the gold one or the silver one. But in case number two, in the example number two, I am just going to express or to use the name of the item. Okay. Elvis, which one do you prefer? The tablet or the laptop computer? I prefer the laptop computer because it's uh, more complete. Oh, wow. Excellent. You're giving extra details. Isabel, which one do you prefer, the tablet or the laptop computer? 
I prefer the laptop computer one. Okay. ¿Podemos decir one al final o no? No. Vaya. Pongamos esto en claro. Con azul le voy a expresar o le voy a señalar los que sí podemos decir one al final. ¿Por qué podemos decir aquí one? Y por qué aquí okay. también. Okay. Y por qué aquí también si puedo ocupar la expresión one o once. Vamos a ver. Any idea? ¿Quién puede expresarme en palabras simples por qué? Aquí sí puedo decir one al Porque final. Hay varias opciones. Porque es más específico también. Que es el mismo Porque objeto. La, el There mismo we objeto go. De diferente There material. we go. Same object. Different. Material. Por eso puedo decir one or ones. Pero si me <risa> fijan en el número... Dos no. y tres. No, three. ¿Qué pasa con el número dos y tres? Do I have the same object? No. Probably, right? No. Different object. Yes. Similar, but not the same. You know? Similar, but not the same. Por eso, puedo compararlo con otra cosa. That's why. Now let me ask you. Class, do not forget your microphones, please. Let me ask you, ¿a quién le pregunto? Carlos Eden, please. Carlos Eden. Which one do you prefer? Hiking boots or sneakers? I prefer hiking boots. There we go. Excellent. Eduardo, Elias, which one do you like better? Hiking boots or sneakers? I prefer hiking boots. Very good job. Fatima Esmeralda, which one do you prefer? Wool gloves? or leather gloves? I prefer leather gloves. Very good job. Leather gloves. Brian Isaac, which one do you like better? Black sunglasses or white sunglasses? I prefer Black one, ones. Very good, the black ones. Ahí vamos. Ana Gabriela. Ana Gabriela, which one do you prefer? Black sunglasses or white sunglasses? Ok, probably you're having problems with your microphone, porque veo que tiene micrófono activado, pero no escucho. I cannot hear you. Ok, I cannot. So, class, is it clear? ¿Está claro cuándo podemos utilizar la expresión one y once y cuándo no? Is that part clear? Or do you want me to express the same idea again? Is it clear? Because we it's need to complete it. Clear. Very good. Sure. So if it's clear, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes so you can go and with the help of your classmates, you try to express preference. No? Preference. Okay. I want you to go and complete expressing preferences as in the example in number one. Le doy a couple of minutes. Creo que tres minutos a cinco minutos son suficientes. Les comparto en WhatsApp y uno del grupo comparte pantalla para que puedan trabajar más rápido. Okay. Is it clear what you have to do? Express preferences. Vamos a expresar preferencias 
con la información de la imagen. Here we go. Five minutes to complete the exercise training. Please, alguien que me escriba hi. Para encontrar el grupo. Just type hi, please. Ahí está. Gracias. Y encontré el grupo. Here we go. You don't know. No saben cuántos grupos tengo. Tengo demasiados grupos de clase. I have many, many. You know? Sometimes, un día regular que no revise WhatsApp, tengo hasta 300 mensajes sin leer. Imagine. So, cuando no les responda, no tomen a mal que no les he re dado respuesta, sino que tengo demasiados mensajes. So here we go. Vamos clase. Let's work right now. Let's go and work. Here we go. Time to work. Three to five minutes to complete this exercise. Expressing preferences. Here we go. Ay, teacher, no volví a sacar la plataforma. Really? Do you want voy? to try? Probemos una vez más y si no, trabajamos aquí. Don't worry. Here we okay. Uh, Let's try with room number four. Probemos con la sala cuatro. Probably this okay. time. Okay. Yeah. And Ana Gabriela, did you have problems with maybe with your internet connection? Okay, probably not. <laughs> hey. Come here. Hello. Come here. Uh, <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hi, ah, did you finish? Which one do you like more, nah. the tablet or the laptop computer? Ahí solo podemos usar el... I yes, prefer... Uh, I like. I oh. like more the... Like more. The, the, laptop. the laptop. Oh, the tablet or the laptop computer. Mm -hmm. Sí, porque, o sea, no son de... One. Sí. No se puede usar once. No. Okay. La tercera sería. Which ones do you like more? The hiking boots, boats, or the sneakers? A sneaker. Sería. I like more. More. The sneaker. I like. The sneaker I one. I like more. No. Eh, no, aquí no podemos usar one. No. Solo sería the speaker. Ah, okay. I like more. The sneaker. La número cuatro. Sí, vamos con la cuatro. Which, Which ones do you prefer? The wool gloves or the leather gloves? I prefer the little glove. Uh huh. I prefer li the little glove. Mm -hmm. Pero ahí sí podemos usar el once. Ahí sí tenemos que usarlo. Uh huh. I prefer the the laptop computer. I prefer the laptop computer. Okay. Okay. Entonces, si quieren, eh, Fátima, entonces pregunta tú. ¿Qué le pregunto a usted? Ok. Eh, ok. Eh, Carlos. Um, which ones do you prefer? prefer um, 
the world grows or the letter flows. Okay, I prefer the letter flows. Okay. Jeremías. Y la cinco sería, which sunglasses do you like better? The black ones or the white ones? Pueden poner, I prefer the white ones. The white ones. I prefer the white ones. <coughs> the white Sí, porque como hay, sí. <ríe> son dos pares de lentes, Why? el mismo artículo se puede usar one or ones. <ríe> white glass, sería white glass. Vaya, the white ones. Pero se me gripe este, Andrea. ¿Perdón? No es gripe, ya se medicó, ya fue al médico. Sí, eso lo tengo. Es como, es como alergia por el clima, pero siempre que llueve me pongo así. Aquí está horrible, una gran tormenta. Ay, oh, Andrea, esperamos en serio que se sienta mucho mejor. Gracias por el esfuerzo. Créanme que eso se aprecia bastante. El esfuerzo de ustedes, de, a pesar que me falla el Inter, a pesar que llueve. Y Andrea se escucha bastante mal, pero gracias, Andrea, por el esfuerzo. Believe me. Yes, I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Hello. Hi, William. Pasó con este grupo. Vi que creo que el internet le está fallando, ¿verdad? Okay. Let's go back. Vámonos ya al grupo principal, ¿ok? Let's go back. Ok, time to come back. Let's wait for your classmates. Okay, there they are coming right now. I'm finished, teacher. Very good job. You finish. If you see, this is just the first part of this topic. Expressing preference. Expressing preference. Vamos a ver rápido. Let's check the answers. ¿Cómo les quedaron las respuestas? In number one, we already have the answer. So let's start with number two up to the fifth one. Number two, Bam, let me ask you. Soy específico, uh, Aleli, Aleli, please. Number two. Which um, one do you like more, the tablet or the laptop computer? I like better the laptop computer one. Did I, I like better or I like more? What do you think? Like more, like okay. more. Yeah, let's use like the same expression as in the question, but excellent. That is the correct one. Gabriela Lisette, how about number three? Which ones do you like more, the hiking boots or the sneakers? Uh, I like more the sneakers. Very good job. That is correct. correct. Let me see. Uh, Brian, Brian Isaac, do you have number three? Do you have the answer for number three? <clears throat> uh, no, right? Number four, which ones do you prefer? The wool gloves or the leather gloves? What is the correct answer for this one? Brian. Well, Brian. 
brand. Que se me había salido ahorita. Ok, don't worry. Go, please. Go ahead. Well, Yes, Isaac. Yes, go. Ah, eh, es que se me había salido, pero repetirme la pregunta. A ah, la número cuatro. Which ones do you prefer? The wool gloves or the leather gloves? I prefer the leather ones. Very good job. Very good job. Y la número cinco. Let me ask you, Carlos Eden. Which sunglasses do you like better, the black ones or the white ones? Uh, I like better the black ones. Very good job. Muy bien, clase. Les pregunto, ¿estamos seguros de saber utilizar one and once en una oración? ¿Cuándo sí puedo usarlo y cuándo no? When can I use the expression one? And when I'm not going to use the expression one and one. Who can yes. Two or three. Two or three. Two or three. Come on. No, I, I'm not expecting no. that answer. Yes. I am sure. Yes. I am sure. Yes. 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 Okay, but when? I need an explanation now. One is the singular and one's plurals. Ok. Y, ¿Pero cuándo puedo usarlas y cuándo no? Eh, en el caso de las preferencias, cuando es un objeto similar. Muy solamente bien. la diferencia lo hace yes. el material con el que están hechos. Okay. Muy bien. Muy Ay, bien. me robó la palabra. Mi respeto, don Elvis. Excelente. Así quiero que manejen las ideas. Vámonos a comparar. Let's make comparisons. I have an adjective. Tampos, Chip and sales. Adjective. Examples comparative. Let's compare right now. The first adjective that I have here is cheap. Cheap. Cheaper than. Let's see. Let's pregunto. Let's talk about houses. Renting or buying a house. What is your opinion, Iris Elena? What is cheaper? Renting a house or buying a house? What is cheaper? Um, cheaper, um, I think, is buying a house. Okay, ¿cómo hacemos la oración? So, buying a house is cheaper than renting a house. Okay, what is your opinion? Esta es opinión personal. Very good job. Fátima, what is your opinion? Fátima Esmeralda. Is it renting a house cheaper than buying a house? Or what is your opinion? Um, cheap buying a house? It's more Comprar or rentar una casa. What is your opinion? Bueno, creo que sería rentar. Okay. Hagamos la oración. Renting a house is cheaper than cheaper than. Muy bien. Así vamos a elaborar las respuestas. Renting a house is cheaper than buying a house. Esta es información o opinión personal. Than buying a house. Así vamos a estructurar nuestra respuesta. Vamos con la número dos. Small, small. In your opinion, class. Smaller than. Which is the smaller than? Apartments or houses? Gladys. What is your opinion? Small. Apartments or houses? Which is the smaller? Ah, ok. 
Okay, we cannot hear you. I guess it's your microphone again. Ah, no. Yes. Okay, let me ask you, Glenda, what is your opinion? Which is smaller, apartment or houses in El Salvador? Apartment is smaller than house. Okay, an apartment house. is smaller than a house. Excellent. What is your opinion, Gabriela Lisette? Apartments or houses, which are smaller? Apartments are smaller than houses. Okay, very good job. How about big? Let's compare countries, United States and El Salvador. Bigger than. Brian Isaac, what is your opinion? Which country United is bigger? States. Uh -huh. United States is bigger than El Salvador. Ah, okay, of course. How about Edwin Ernesto? Which is bigger, Guatemala or El Salvador? ¿Qué país más grande, Guatemala o El Salvador? Which country is bigger? Edwin Ernest. Okay, don't worry. I guess your microphone isn't working. Guatemala. Okay, but make the sentence, please. ¿Cómo hacemos la oración completa? Guatemala uh, is is more bigger. So, decimos is more bigger o bigger ya está en superlativo, en comparativo, perdón. Is bigger, bigger than. Sí. than. Muy bien, is bigger than. Very good job. Ya decimos bigger than. Daisy, Magdalena, what is your opinion about Pupusas and tacos. Which one is better? In your opinion, are pupusas better or tacos? Give me your opinion. Pupusas better than the tacos. Okay, pupusas are better than tacos. Okay, that is your opinion. Yes. Eduardo Elias. Definitely, right? What is your opinion, Eduardo? Which one is better, coffee or milk? Coffee is better than milk. Okay, coffee is better than milk. Interesting. Jasmine Yvonne. Jasmine Yvonne, le pregunto. Which one is better? Um, cola champán or Coca-Cola? Which one is better? Cola <laughs> champán. ¿qué es better? Mejor. Mejor. Which one is better? Magnífica mm. presentación. Mm -hmm. um, con la champán. Ay, ¿cómo hacemos la oración entonces? Con la champán is, is better, better than Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. Coca Irma Raquel, in your opinion, which is warmer? Coats or sweaters? Warmer. Coats or sweaters? Uh, war, 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 war is warmer than Sweater. Coats are warmer than sweater. Estamos comparando. ¿Cuál es más? Eh, yeah. En este caso más. Which is warmer in this case? Is sweater warmer than warm? Okay, ¿quién le puede ayudar con la idea? Who can help her? 
Weather is warmer than cost. Muy bien, el suéter sería más. ¿Qué es warmer? ¿Qué significa warm en español? Cálido. Cálido. Sí. Cálido. ¿Qué? Dan cost. Dan, pongámoslo en plural, en general, perdón. Dan coach. Miren. Comparamos, si se fijan, estamos comparando. Sweaters, oh, it's not is, it's are. Sweaters are, are warmer than coats. Sí, ¿Cómo comparamos? Sí. Yes. Sí, Fíjense que aquí en apartments y houses, este, este is, y era are. Y también en cupos, en el taco, también en cupos, en is, y era are. Y era are, ¿verdad? Sí, ahí sí tenemos sí. que tener ese cuidado, singular o plural, en this case. Sí. Yes. No escuchaba. Yes, it's plural. It's plural, always plural. So, in my case, I corrected myself. Me corregí yo misma. Vaya, ¿cuál es la estructura que necesitamos seguir entonces? Para comparar. Acuérdense, cheap, ER, plus, then. And... Please, también escuché a muchos decir that. Por ejemplo, cheaper that. Esto es algo más, no significa lo mismo. La expresión correcta es than. Than. Cheaper than. Smaller than. Bigger than. Better than and warmer than. Si quieren practicar con más adjetivos comparativos o superlativos ahí en la presentación puse un enlace que les voy a compartir para que ustedes vayan y repasen ok tanto las reglas de spelling y que puedan practicar con ejemplos I'm going sí. to send you the link right now está levantando la mano do you have a question? Yes. ¿O será que quedó así ya la, la mano levantada? Se le trabó la mano ahí. <ríe> ok. Miren, ahí está la página que les compartí. Si Está vamos... congelada, teacher. I'm sorry. Don't worry. No, si alguna vez no veo la mano levantada es porque estoy compartiendo pantalla. Díganme, teacher. Teacher, I have a question. Insistan. Teacher, lista. Yes, ya la vamos a tomar. Don't worry. I just want to show you today. La lista, teacher. La lista. La, lista, la nota ahí, lista. Ahí la tengo, ahí la tengo, no se me ha olvidado. Miren, lista de comparativos <risa> y superlativos. Es necesario que practiquemos porque son tantos adjetivos que no podemos ver uno por uno. We have even the meaning in Spanish, the comparative and the superlative form. You know? We have as many as you oh can imagine you know, many 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 examples so you can have oh fun God. practicing the pronunciation and learning all of these adjectives you see many many and many examples. oh my god oh my god es como oh que nos pongamos god. a aprender verbos adjetivos hay wow. demasiados many But you know it's not impossible. Fishing, fishing the, finish the crazy. <laughs> okay. Te lo voy a compartir también en WhatsApp para que practiquen. Okay, now let me check the attendance. Mientras tomo la asistencia, eh, preparan Thank alguna pregunta so much, que tengamos. Alguna pregunta para poder concluir con sección 4. Aquí vamos. Please say here or present. Here we go. It's clear. Everybody. Muy bien. Hoy, ¿Qué día es? El 16, right? Thursday 16. A ver, aquí está. Aleli Concepción. I'm here, teacher. Gabriela. Ana Karina. Present. Anna Stephanie. 
Andrea Isabel. I'm here. Okay. I really hope you to feel better, you know. Brian Edwin. Thank you. You're welcome. Brian? Brian Edwin. Is he in the class? Yes. Brian Isaac. Present. Carlos Eden. Present teacher. Cesar Alexander. Present teacher. Cristelia Rosalina. Present teacher. Daisy Magdalena. Present teacher. Edgardo Antonio. Eduardo Elias. Present teacher. Edwin Ernesto. Present teacher. Elvis Aníbal. Present teacher. Emerson Alexander. He's sick. He's sick. Fátima Esmeralda. Present teacher. Fernando Arturo. Gabriela Lisette. Okay. Gladys Elizabeth. No le sirve el micrófono. No, por ahí habló. Glenda Abigail. Present teacher. Iris Elena. Here, Miss. Irma Raquel. Present. Isabel Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jasmine Iwan. Present teacher. Jeremías Ezequiel. Present teacher. And Jessica Janet. Ok, bien clase. No se olviden de completar la sección número 3. Ok, section number 3. Ah, ok, Gladys, ahí estamos. Bien. So, we are going to stop the class here. Pero antes de irnos, si tengo papás en el grupo, let me wish you a great happy Father's Day. I really hope you to have a great day with your family tomorrow. Ok, happy Thank Father's Day. So Toda la clase dice happy Father's Day. No olviden felicitarlos mañana. Felicitémonos en el grupo Happy también. Thank you so much. Okay, you're welcome. So class, we are going to stop the class here. Thank you so much for coming today, participating and asking questions. Cualquier you. ayuda que okay. necesiten, ya saben, estamos en el grupo. No, no yeah. tengan pena. Okay, pero mal conmigo, no, ni momento. No, pues por eso. O sea, okay. no, bye, 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 guys. Good night. Thank you, Bye, guys. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. Está buena onda, Leto. Bye, bye.